Hi everyone and welcome to 60 Seconds to Learn, the channel where we give you the weekly tutorials on Adobe Premiere. Have you ever wanted that Hollywood cinematic look on your own videos? Well, it's actually easy to do. Today we're going to show you how to take any picture or video clip and copy the Lumetri colors from it and add them to your own videos. So the first thing we've done is bring in some clips here, some video clips, along with some still pictures of things we want to copy the color from. In our timeline is our video that we want and we have three little stills from different movies that have different color effects. If the pictures that you have or the video clips are not the same scale, you should right click and say set the frame size and even if they don't fill it up then just use a scale under effects controls to bring this up to fill the space because we want the color to get samples from as much as it as it can. So the other thing you need to do is have the sample clips on your timeline also as well as your video clips that you want to colorize. The next thing you want to do is click on the new item and go to adjustment layer. Just say OK and then drag the adjustment layer over the top and along to the end of your sequence. The adjustment layer just allows you to add color to the adjustment layer itself and it will add color to all of the video clips underneath and but add them to the adjustment layer instead of colorizing each video clip. So this is handy if you have a bunch of clips and you want to get them. They were all shot with the same camera and they all have a similar look and you just want to colorize it to match one of these color sequences from a movie or any other picture that you have. Now if you don't see, if you're in editing and you don't see color, you can just go to window, workspaces and choose color. And then this should bring up the Lumetri color. Also you can go to window and find Lumetri color here, which will bring up the Lumetri color panel. Now when you're inside of here, we have we might normally come up in basic. You want to choose color wheels and match. And this is where we want to be. Click here if it's not on there. The other thing we want to do then is choose the video that you want to color first. Then what you want to do is come over here to comparison view. And this gives you the video that you want to colorize based on the sample. And then what you're going to do then is use this little slider here to find the clip that you want to colorize your video clip to. So whether it be this one or this one or this one here. So we'll colorize the adjustment layer and see what it does to this. So let's take an extreme example first of all. And this is from I think Mad Max or something. And then we're going to click on this adjustment layer. And all you're going to do with this in the left and this is your what's where your timeline is here over this just say apply match it will analyze it and then it will colorize it based on the colors in this this uh, sample and if you want to see let's see what it's like before and afterward just come over here click on this effects on and off so this is on this is off and you can see it, it tries to take the colors of this and add them to your video. So if we go to the next color, again, on and off. You see that's much more blue. This brings more warm tone. And the same thing for this. This is uh, on at the moment and off is, is the way it was shot. And it's trying to take the colors of this and add them to your clips. And they're all on top of the adjustment layer. You can also play with this afterwards here to try to bring the colors up or down. All right, so if you want to get rid of this, all you've got to do is go over to your effects control panels over here. We're looking for Lumetri color that we put on here. Click on it and just click your delete key on your keyboard and it all goes back to, uh, back to square one. So now let's say we want to try one of the other colors on our video, see what that looks like. 
So again, we can move along up to this James Bond movie. Very similar set of buildings. And then we will just do, click make sure on the adjustment layer, apply color match. And it applies the color match to it. Didn't see too much change there. We could try it again. And if we move along these other ones here, again, seeing what it was like on and off. This is off, on. Very subtle changes here, but a lot more of the blues that are in the in the um, sample footage over here. Just little changes, but it gives you that same sort of tone of the buildings, this sort of building color here, compared to the original, which is more white. And again here, um, this is where this is off. So you can see this is more gray. And then if we click it on, you can see it's changing from the gray to more of the blues. Again, if you want to get rid of it, so we want to see, you know, go to the third clip. Just click on Lumetri Color, delete. Again, we're back to square one. And then we take the final image that we have. This is Chris Hemsworth in Extraction, I think, on Netflix. And then... Um, if you like that, this is more of a darker image here. This isn't cut off, this is part of the room either side. It was very dark. We can see what that looks like. So we would do on the adjustment layer again, apply match. And you can see it's trying to take the skin tones he has here basically and add them to a much warmer image here. There's also a checkbox here you can turn on and off. So if we do control Z twice here, go back to where we were, take off face detection. We can see what that does now. And it'll apply those warmer tones here. And if we go back to the other ones, again, on and off, what does it look like before and after? It's much bluer in the original with the effect on. It's a lot warmer. And then if we take comparison view off by clicking on this guy, you can see what the image would look like here with without the effect much bluer and with it on nice colors so i matched it quite well for that one do comparison view again and then we'll come back to this guy and see what this is with with it on and with it off so again warmed it up in this particular case a little bit so again if we do not comparison view this is without any of that correction color correction and we click on this it's a lot warmer so again subtle changes but that's what you want with color you know they don't want to be drastic neon light effects unless that's what you're going for so color is very subtle so there you go it's as simple as that you can take any um of the like images or video footage that you like from certain movies and apply them to your own video footage and hope you enjoyed it and we will see you on the next one please give us a subscribe and a thumbs up and a comment and it'll just motivate us to make a lot more of this uh we do tutorials at least once or twice a week on premiere products trying to make them easier for you so that it's uh, not so confusing all right. Thanks a lot again for watching. We really do appreciate it. And we see you again.